my name is Maya and in this video Hannibal Lecter is recommending books. Yes, he's here. He's here, he's actually in this video, he's recommending books. Let me just find him. Oh, oh, you're, you're in my kitchen. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're cooking. Um, well, these are just spices. What's the main course? So this list of books is actually made based on the NBC TV show Hannibal Lecter character because I recently finished the TV show and I really really love it and I'm slightly obsessed with it. So in order to have fun with it, I was like, I need to make a list of books that Hannibal Lecter would read. And these are all the books that are kind of either Hannibal mentioned in the TV show or they're about the Renaissance Italy, about death, the morally ambiguous human nature, or they're straight up about death. Like, just that. <laughs> so first I'm gonna talk about a few classics that Hannibal mentioned himself in the TV show and a few classics that I don't think need specific particular explanations. They're pretty self-evident and pretty popular. So I'll just mention those really quickly before going ahead with the list. First up we have Dante Alighieri, Divina Commedia, which is, I don't know if this is pronounced correctly, but if Hannibal were recommending books, he'd definitely pronounce it in Italian. Now this Hannibal quoted on numerous occasions in the TV show. He is just coming out with the quotes in proper situations. It's really nice when you can just recite poetry in conversations and find the proper piece of poetry for every situation, which is basically what Hannibal does. So yes, my first Hannibal Lecter reading recommendation is actually The Divine Comedy by Dante. Next up, in the same vein, we have another Renaissance author, which is, I have the book here, and it's The Cameron by Giovanni Botticelli. It's a collection of short novellas, and basically it's also Renaissance, it's also Italy, and this man is also a poet. Um, the Cameron is prose, right? But uh, I think Hannibal would definitely read him and maybe quote some of the things from the book as well. And lastly, in this category, we have Paradise Lost by John Milton. It is talking about the devil, how the devil basically beca became the devil. And um, yeah, so this is a perfect piece of literature to be quoting around if you're a creepy serial killer um, and have a twisted sense of humor, which Hannibal basically is. Next, we have a few books that have theological themes in them, kind of theology, religion, philosophy, those types of things, because I think Hannibal, at least the Hannibal from the TV show, was really obsessed with like God and devil and those types of um, stories and discussions. So the first book in this category is actually East of Eden by John Steinbeck. This is basically an allegory for Adam and Eve and their fall from heaven, or their fall from Eden. This book offers such stimulating conversations between characters and I think Hannibal would definitely appreciate it and have some thoughts on it. Next up we have The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco, which is basically following the trend of being set in Italy in the 13th century, so Renaissance Italy, and this is actually a murder mystery in one of the Italian monasteries, we have two main characters who are investigating who the killer is in this monastery. But besides being the murder, murder mystery, this book is actually more on the philosophical side. It discusses the burning of the witches and the role of Pope in the States. So it's very political as well and very philosophical. It's a very detailed and true to history type of Hannibal type of murder mystery and it ain't a Hannibal book until there's a detailed description of a fresca on a church wall depicting half human, half animal forms burning in the pit of hell, which this book offers. So a Hannibal type of book. Now we're heading on to the next category, which is basically a few non-fiction books that I want to mention. And the first being is Nietzsche, the Antichrist. I have here this old, old version of Nietzsche's Eke Homo, if this is how you pronounce it. I don't have the Antichrist, but I'm gonna just... I've read Antichrist pretty long time ago, so I don't really remember the ideas in it. I know there were a lot of ideas, but one of those was religion. Nietzsche really criticized religion, and I remember one of the metaphors he used for like paying money in the church to be like paying money at the highway in order to get into heaven. This is type of thing that can be found in the Antichrist, so I think 
Hannibal, who really likes these types of theological discussions, would enjoy um, Nietzsche as well. Next up we have Machiavelli's Prince, another Italian author. He was... he had some strong ideas, and I don't think this piece of literature needs any more explaining. Um, it's Machiavelli, and Hannibal would definitely, definitely read it. And last, from nonfiction, we have The Elements of Eloquence by Mark Forsett. Hannibal, I think, considers the eloquence and the rhetoric uh, basically the most important aspect to a person's life, the power to express yourself. So he would definitely be very interested in the rhetoric and in the science and academia of it all. I think one of the main aspects of Hannibal's mask kind of is his power to express himself. Now it's a category that I call a spicing it up because there's a two, two modern classics. Actually one is a modern book, I don't know if it's considered a classic, and the other one is a modern classic that I think Hannibal would find pretty entertaining. And the first one is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Now Hannibal is a Lithuanian who migrated to US. And American Gods is basically Neil Gaiman's criticism on the American society. And Neil Gaiman is British, right? I think the idea of someone not from the US criticizing the US would amuse Hannibal. So this is why I'm recommending this book. Besides that, the book The American Gods is definitely a social commentary and criticism on the consumerist, capitalist uh, American society through the American gods, which are basically the god of the internet or the god of the television, the god of, the god of shopping, stuff like that. American Gods is basically a book about a corruptible, materialistic human nature, which is a topic Hannibal definitely enjoys, in my opinion. So the second spice up is A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. This is the original book on morality and corruptible human nature and what is good, what is bad, how to make one good or bad, blah blah blah. I think Hannibal would definitely read this as a comedy and to him the ending of this book would be like a happy end but he'd definitely like read it and reread it. And honestly, I just love this book so much, I had to include it in the list, so please read this. It's a, it's a beautiful book. Speaking of funny books, I think the next one is the one that Hannibal would kind of hate read, and it is The Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. The main guy got away with a double murder, and then due to his own guilt, he was caught. I think this phenomenon of guilt would be really, really annoying and interesting to Hannibal. So he would kind of read and reread Crime and Punishment in order to try to understand what he can't feel, which is basically guilt. More than prose, Hannibal likes poetry, pretty poetry, and Shakespeare is definitely the type of book, the type of author that he would read and kind of learn by heart so he could quote it in conversations as well. I'm holding here Romeo and Juliet. Like, he would read that one, but he wouldn't quote that one like, Will Graham, Will Graham, wherefore art thou, Will Graham? No. He would actually read Macbeth and Hamlet, but especially Macbeth. I think the rise to villainy and then fall from grace that we can see in Macbeth, like basically following a villain, I think that would appeal to Hannibal a lot, and I think he'd definitely remember some of the lines so he could quote them in conversations. He would also think that Lady Macbeth was much cooler than Macbeth himself, let's be honest. The next category is kind of a body horror, and there's only one book in this, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna recommend what I think Hannibal would read when young, and it would kind of form him, it would be like his formative years, and it is The Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Now in this we have well, basically, Frankenstein's monster, which is made out of different parts of human body. But more than that, I think the thing that would appeal most to Hannibal is the fact that this Frankenstein monster is explaining about himself from the perspective of someone who is being cast away from the society, split from society, rejected by humans. He has to become the monster that others think him to be. And I think this aspect of the book would really appeal to Hannibal because he's basically like also rejected by humans because like he's a cannibal, right? A serial killer. 
So I think reading in Frankenstein as a young boy would really impress him. And while speaking about not being a human, No Longer Human by Dazai Osamu is the book Hannibal would definitely read. This is a book about a man who doesn't feel human. He feels rejected by humans, he can't connect with the humans, he feels different from humans, he doesn't feel like, a, like a, he belongs to the human species. Like he feels like he's being expelled, like he's been expelled from humanity. I think Hannibal would connect with the sentiment, although he would question this man's choice of living in the book. This man basically throws away his life, his um, aspirations, he lives a miserable life. Point where the two part is that the man in the book thinks he's less than human, while Hannibal thinks he's above human. Lastly, we have a book about death. It is a nonfiction about death, and I think Hannibal would read it for inspiration. And it is From Here to Eternity, Traveling the World to Find the Good Death by Caitlin Doughty. Now, this is a book by a mortician who is kind of describing the death rituals from all over the world. I think Hannibal would read this and he'd find it like interesting and uh, entertaining. So thank you for sticking with this video. Um, this has been a pretty short list. I would like to know which books do you think Hannibal Lecter would love to read and recommend to others. Please comment down below. This is a video that's meant to be like a fun little video. It's not like me condoning um, cannibalism or anything. So please don't think that. Uh, I was kind of hesitant to make this video. It's, it's all fiction and I enjoyed this TV show um, and I enjoy this type of fiction. So yes. So before you go, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I wish you the best of reading days. See you!